everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again my beautiful people yes guys we are back again with more update regarding the edo state governorship election Yes, uh, I'm just yesterday, um, Governor Hope Uzodima stormed um, Edo State, mobilizing um, Indigos um, to vote for the All Progressive Congress. Also, um, INEC has stated just six days to the Edo State governorship election, they've ruled out um, this one stating that uh, no PVC, no voting. So they are not joking at all. Anyway, guys, and we'll bring you all of the details we've got um, regarding the Edo State Governorship election. We know um, as the day draws near, we keep getting um, updates, loads of updates, and we are here to keep you updated so that you don't miss out in anything going on in the state. Yes, guys, and we'll bring you all of the details shortly. But before we do, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. Six days to Edo election. INEC declares no PVC, no voting. With just six days to Edo governorship election, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has declared anyone without permanent voters card, PVC, will not be allowed to vote. This is contrary to reports that the electoral umpire might have resolved to use the incidence form for voters whose PVC malfunctions during the Saturday, September 19th governorship election. The commission has said there was no such intention and that those without their PVC stood no chance of voting at all. Also, the commission has debunked allegations that the reappointment of some INEX national commissioners whose tenure expected to elapse in November has been tied to the victory of the All Progressive Congress APC in a dual election. As a result, the National Peace Committee, led by former head of state General Abdul Salami Abubakar, is likely to meet with President Mohamed Buhari soon with a view to soliciting for the neutrality of all security agencies and the INEC during the Edo governorship election. This is as the leadership of the People's Democratic Party PDP and the All Progressive Congress APC accused each other of underhand tactics to rig next Saturday's election. But some Edo community leaders in the state led by their chairman Dixon Omoroge on Friday called for peace in the election by asking for a critical review of security deployment and zero interference of other agencies of government who have roles to play in the management of the election. In the same breath, the Imo State Governor Hope Ozodima yesterday stormed Benin City, the Edo State capital, where was being honored and seized the opportunity of the occasion to mobilize the Igbo community in support of the APC and its candidate, Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu. Speaking exclusively to this day on the procedure for the election, should the PVC malfunction, INEX Na National Commissioner in charge of voters' education, information and publicity, Festus Okoye, said there would be no voting without the voters' card reader. The commission will continue to improve on its technological solution. The smart card reader remains a veritable tool for verification and authentication in the accreditation process. Our resolve is to make it more robust, more efficient, and more smarter. We'll continue to improve on the smart card reader technology. The smart card reader has brought credibility to the electoral process, and the commission will continue to deploy it. We have made it smarter and more robust, and will continue to improve on it. it only persons with permanent voters card whose name appear on the voters register will move towards the verification and authentication ladder. Those that are not in possession of the permanent voters card and whose names are not in the voters register will not be allowed to vote. The smart card reader will continue to be used for verification and authentication, he explained. On why INEC would use the ZPAR technology in a Doe governorship election instead of the former iris scan technology, Okoye said, the commission will continue to control its technological solution and will never allow technology to drive the process. The commission has been test running a couple of technological solutions and the facial recognition software for secondary accreditation is one of them. 
The commission deployed the solution to the Nasara Central by election and noticed challenges with its performance. We are back on the drawing board, perfecting it, aligning it, and making it more robust as a secondary accreditation solution. The Commission will continue to use the ZPAD to upload pooling unit results to the result viewing portal. The Commission will only deploy the technological solution it has tested with some small by election and is confident of their performance in bigger elections. A responsible Commission would not gamble with the big end of tenure election conducted in the shadow of a pandemic, he said. However, stressing the allegation that INEC national commissioners whose tenure are due to end in November would be rewarded with a reappointment if they traded off a do state governorship election in favor of the APC, he dismissed as untrue. Every national commissioner knows his entry and exit date. All the national commissioners are accomplished professionally and some of them are looking forward to returning to their normal lives. More fundamentally, national commissioners are focused on delivering the two end of tenure elections taking place under the shadow of a pandemic. The two elections are critical to the democratic process and most national commissioners are fine-tuning the programs of the departments they supervise. It is counterproductive to engage in speculative assumptions and make deductions that are not backed up with verifiable and cogent facts. Okoye therefore challenged the PDP to produce evidence that one of the national commissioners is working in cohorts with the APC to swap and compromise the leads of supervisory presiding officers. Those with proof of tampering or doctoring or compromised list of supervisory presiding officers should come forward with the evidence. The long-standing policy of the commission, which is in the public domain, is to recruit supervisory presiding officers from ministries, departments, and agencies of the federal government. These categories of officers apply for recruitment through INEC dedicated portal with their photographs, identity card, and attestation. The applicants are further vetted before they issued with letters of appointment. The activities of commission are carried out transparently. All the political parties contesting the election will be at the central bank for the distribution of the materials. All the political parties were availed of their statutory right to nominate polling agents. The commission is constitutionally mandated to organize, undertake, and supervise elections. Plotting and conspiracies do not form part of the mandate of the commission. Our responsibility is to organize a good and acceptable election in a do and on do state, Okoye explained. Yes, guys, Sam, all of this is coming from INEC. They have explained themselves that they are not working with the All Progressive Congress. They are not uh, planning any form of rigging and any of sort. And they've also stated that um, no PVC, no voting come September 19th. Guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again is bye for now and God bless.